It's official. And it's a hundred percent official because Stadia I, is dead. Google Stadia is dead because Google announced it on thing they're going to completely shut down the service January eighteenth of twenty twenty three. Completely dead and. I will say this again because I've been saying this since we first started BOP. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it since the beginning that this was not going to work. And look, it did not. Do you see that little tombstone right there? There's a reason for that. That's not a control limited edition from Stadia. It's an actual tombstone because Stadia is dead. <laughs> it's dead. So what's going to happen is January... The, what's going to happen first is the people are crying and sobbing. All the communities that try to get on me, get on my oh, ass. Oh, yeah, remember? This whole entire yeah, yeah, time. You guys are silent now. What happened? Silent. They're mourning right now. I got to give We don't like hear eulogy. you. We don't hear you. Where, where, what, what happened? I'm not the I thought one. this was going to live. I thought this was going to go on. I thought this was healthy. I thought you were going to be releasing a bunch of games. What happened? It's going to stay forever. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. Google let it die like he like they do with a bunch of their other projects. That's Absolutely. what happened. Absolutely. Google has great ideas. Fantastic ideas. They don't know how to fucking <laughs> They don't know how to utilize them. That's now it's the not thing. For kids today. <laughs> they don't know how to utilize them. The Google Glasses? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Died. <laughs> uh, Google Plus, remember that was supposed to take yeah, place over network? Facebook? It was supposed to be the new Facebook, be all that. Gone. What else? Um, I, I mean, we can get a list. But, yeah, there's, I mean, a, there's a huge list. But, but it's pretty much Google does not know. They have these great ideas, but they don't know how to handle those They literally ideas. have a great idea and go, hey, you, that guy, yeah, you, you got some skin in the game. Just just wing it and see what happens. And when it fails, you're like, yeah, bye, now nah, we're not going to do that anymore. And that, that's it. I will admit... What Google's doing about it, though, I, is commendable. I will admit that. Because what's happening is they are refunding everyone yes. that has purchased a system, has purchased a game, or any add-on on the Stadia. Well, they are working with uh, developers as well that all your gaming saves through Stadia, through like Cyberpunk or Control. Yeah, it's or right now um, Cyber, um, CD Project, yep. um, Bungie. Yep. And Ubisoft are the ones that have said that they're going to be trying their they're best to work to, to migrate, yeah, to migrate to like what PC you had or and bring something. it back, yeah. yeah, because Stadia sucked. Exactly. So I like, had hopes for it when it first announced, and it seemed great. And then, and then at like two or three months in, I'm like, there's nothing else coming out. What's happening? This best technology you know that's happening. What, and you so know what's like, another messed up thing about this too, which is another Dreamcast. one. Yeah, exactly. You're rocking the shirt too, yes, my guy. I know. Dreamcast. What a great time! Because remember, Dreamcast was. Innovative. They had a, a, a little console as a memory card. And was able to go online. And you were able to connect online. Dude. Exactly. All that. It only lasted like two years. And then it just. Like a year, I think. No, it was like two years. Two years? Yeah, it was oh, 1999. Okay. Felt, felt 2001 quick. that kind of like died off. But the other messed up thing about this is you know how they announced that it was, you know, getting canceled and all that. It's going to stop the service. The first time most of the game developers that were still releasing games on this, that tweet was the first time they heard about it. They told they did not tell most of the developers. Developers are like, what? I have a game coming out November 1st, and now you're telling me that that's not going to happen anymore? Oh. Exactly. Like This news, most developers that were still releasing games or had games released on there, that was their first time hearing about it. That is awful. I wish the signs were there. Y'all tried to work with AT&T, browser only, do Batman. Y'all yelled at me, and y'all said, oh, no, you're just reading every type of news. You're reading just hater articles. Y'all got to do your homework, because as soon as I read that, I'm like, something's fishy. Then you got them announcing Google white glove service and going behind the scenes to developers to see if they want to lease their technology to make things better. Why would they do that if they got Stadia to run with it? It's because exactly. Stadia was dying and they were trying to sell it to keep afloat. Exactly. It was just it was just crazy. It's like these developers were not told and they and some of these developers literally because this was announced like what was it, Wednesday or Thursday last week? Yeah. Literally there was developers that was with Stadia in talks about games that they were making. 
a couple of days before the announcement, and Stadia did not say anything. That's Google. So it's like that's Google. That's like, like that one oh exec came in. And my was like, mm, God, I don't like it. Shut it down and walked away. It was just like it was crazy how how Google they doesn't have this. a good name when it comes to retaining their it projects, was their new initiatives. So so bad. That's when Google bought Nest. Yeah, I'm like, oh, how's that working? It's so far, scary. it's okay, but I think it forgot their namesake. You know, Nest was Nest was the ish. It had all those types of things, new smart, and now Google had it. It seems like the uh, the innovation kind of like died. Yeah, and then there's other competition that goes with it. So it's like. And now um, the other thing is, if you try to go into the Stadia store nowadays, you're not able to purchase anything. They sh nope. shut that store completely. As soon as that announcement thing, shut off. And pretty much new players cannot get into the game anymore. Can't Terrible. get into Stadia anymore. Terrible. And people who had it before, they have until January 18th, 18th. to play their games. And hopefully, because right like we, like we were discussing, Ubisoft... Bungie and the CDK, uh, Rockstar and stuff like that. Yep. They're trying to find ways to put the data, but any like smaller game, who knows if that could be transferred over? More than likely not. They're not gonna. The developer is already pissed off as it is to have an indie title to be just cut well, off. That's the thing. Most indie developers are not happy with this news because it's like, okay, you are canceling. Like that is like crazy. Like. Because there are certain games that was only released on Stadia and not anywhere else. And now those are going to be lost media now. Unless they get transferred to like Steam or something like or that. Or Apple. Yeah, they could just or do Apple. Apple. Well, you know, whatever. Which we don't know if that's things like that could happen. But, you know, things like this is why it's like it was too soon for something like this to happen. Yeah. It was like most... Most um, com um, like houses and stuff don't have the internet to be able to handle Stadia like this, which is crazy because I would think they would because it's minimum twenty five megabytes per second. Not everyone, but not can everybody has that, that. and not exactly. even that because it's, it's all uh, spread out, spread apart. And also remember too, people live in like you know boondocks type of things, like all like deep in a thing. Yeah. What kind of internet service you getting in the middle of the country? And let alone trying to get in and then you can try to stream up to 4K. Exactly. Right now, like like I said, great idea. Too soon to day. And look what happened. Because you tried to bring out the idea, didn't last like three, it lasted like three years. Not even and now. Stadium? Yeah, it came out 2019, right? E no. Yeah, it was like that 2019. Damn, it lasted that long? Like three years, yeah. So it pretty much is oh. dead. Was not a shock to anyone for who's been paying attention. It was not a shock to everyone. Yeah. And I just feel bad for all like the indie people who hopefully they got their bank and got their money because remember, some companies they don't get paid unless the game comes out. And it's usually those type of those type of deals that go on in the industry now. Exactly. Because now streaming is a thing, so you sign on to a certain a, a contract. As Let's it were. hope Google will uphold their end of the contract and pay these people because Google is the one who canceled it, not yep. the. And so hopefully they'll still be able to pay them their contracts, even though the game didn't come out. Yeah. We will see. We don't know, but. Phil Harris, it wasn't your fault. It was Google. <laughs> It was Google. It wasn't your uh, fault. Oh, man. You will see a proper eulogy. Oh, man. That's crazy. What's fan? Yeah, let's do the fan.